Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this morning, I'm at, let me just pay here, I'm at McDonald's getting breakfast. Um, so today is Thursday. I'm in, on my way into work. Give me a sec. Hi. Thank you. All right, guys. So I just got a steak, egg, and cheese on a bagel. Oh, they're, they are just so good and delicious. I crave them every morning. Um, but I'm on my way into work right now. Um, I usually don't record on my way into work. Uh, reason being that it takes me like an hour to drive um, to drive in and it's just like people here in Rhode Island drive like lunatics so I like to you know be a hundred percent attentive like to the road and just my surroundings because people don't know how to drive I swear it's like you know that little stick right next to the wheel that is called a turn signal people use it um, a lot of people just don't use it at all and they just take a left like a sharp left or a sharp right and you're like behind them and you're like almost like hit them in the behind because you know they you don't know that they're turning and they just slam on their brakes to, to take the turn and it just drives me so crazy it drives me nuts um don't get me wrong i'm not like a grade a like driver or like perfect driver or anything of the sort because i do have my little things here and there um but i do gotta say that that's one thing that I'm very careful of is just making sure that I use my turn signals I, I look at my side mirrors and just I'm aware of like my surroundings and a lot of people don't do that they, that's why there's a lot of car accidents and insurance here is crazy you're paying like 300 and something dollars um, full coverage on a car you know that's that's ridiculous so that's that enough of the ranting about the way people drive here but i work in massachusetts um so it takes me like i said about an hour uh to drive into work um what else can i say i really don't want to say like where exactly it is that i work um for like privacy reasons and you know stuff like that so I don't really want to say where, but I do work in uh, Foxborough, uh, Massachusetts. And I live in Rhode Island, so it takes me an, uh, almost an hour, depending on traffic. It just drives me nuts, especially on my way back home. Um, because sunset here is at like at 4.30 in like, I would, like 4.30 in the afternoon. I call that afternoon. But it's at 4.30. So by the time I get out of work, around 5, it's like pitch black outside. And, you know, it's just the traffic. It's crazy. Um, sometimes you'll get lucky and there won't be as much traffic. But other times, you just got to deal with it. But I don't, I'm not sure, like, what I have planned um, this weekend, um, I might, I, I might, no, maybe not. I have to go and I have to go buy the kids um, some winter jackets because they are growing. So, um, especially with my son, he's gotten taller and longer. So <laughs> he puts on this jacket from last year and his arms are like his sleeves are so short compared to his arm it's just ridiculous so i gotta buy um 
all three of them a jacket. Um, the baby has one, so she's still a baby. She's, I got it pretty big for her, so um, she's going to be using that jacket for like probably the next year. Um, that's how big it is on her, but it's very comfy on her, so um, I just got to get the jacket for the kids, for the um, for Jamar, Jamari, for Daniel, and for Joshua, as well as hat and gloves um, for them because it is freezing over here. It's like right now it's 23 degrees out. 23 and Daniel walks home walks to school and he walks home from school Jamari takes she takes the city bus um, to and from school as well so she does have to walk and then she does have to wait um, downtown for um, her bus to get arrive um, to be able to bring her home and sometimes she's down there waiting for like half an hour close to an hour just waiting for the bus outside in the cold um and mind you it's she she gets out i believe it's like around 3 30 now because she doesn't have extended day program so she gets out at 3 30 so by the time she gets to downtown it's like almost four o'clock and like i said sun sun down here sunset here is at 4 30 so by the time she gets home, it's already um, pretty dark out, and, you know, with the cold weather and all. Um, so, I'm constantly yelling at them, making sure that they, you know, have a jacket on and, you know, they're, they're covered because it's, they get sick. Like, Jamari this morning, she goes, oh, mom, like like my throat is so it's like sore or whatever i'm like yeah that's because you're going outside when it's like freezing 20 degree weather and you you want to go outside you know without a jacket without hat with, without gloves and everything so i don't know what's wrong with this generation it's like they think like wearing a, a thick jacket like how i have on is not cool or something that they just want to be out in little thin sweaters and little thin jackets and everything it's like no like you gotta dress appropriate for the weather if it's freezing it's wear something that's gonna keep you warm and you know bundle up so that was my conversation with them this morning um, so that was that and what else can I tell you guys um, the baby, the baby's getting big. Um, she's walking, as you guys already know. Um, not all the time, like, she'll, she'll walk here and there, but she's still crawl it's like she's crawling a lot and everything is still the same. Um, with the walking, she's not doing as much walking because how, you know, she did fall or whatever, so now she's, like, afraid, so now we have to keep encouraging her to you know do independent walking you know without us having to help her out and you know hold her hand or whatever so we're trying to encourage that for her um and her sleeping um she sleeps in our room so she has her own crib in our room and everything and um Right now, she doesn't go to sleep unless she has a bottle. She needs a bottle to go to sleep. And she has teeth already, so it's like, you know, with the concern of, you know, her falling asleep with a bottle, you know, that tends to, you know, mess up their teeth. You know, I don't, I don't want her teeth to get ruined um, because of it. So I'm going to have to slowly start taking the, her bottle away from her at night and just try to put her down without one which is going to be so hard because even sometimes with the bottle she's still screaming and crying bloody murder because she doesn't want to you know go to sleep um so that i guess that's more of something that we we as the parents have to work on um because she does it now you know uh so that's just something that me and my husband have to work on i asked on social media like i have facebook and i have instagram and stuff like that so 
I asked if, you know, doing a decorate with me video for Christmas would be a little bit too early. Um, some of you guys said no, that it wouldn't be too early. Other people said, yeah, you know, wait. Obviously because, you know, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. But I decorated my, my, my home for fall. So my fall decor is consider it Thanksgiving de decorations because it, you know it has the pumpkins you know the haze the the, the warm um, colors like the, the tan and you know those Thanksgiving colors so we I don't I don't feel like I need to decorate like with turkeys and stuff like that because I don't decorate with turkeys so I think I think that's that's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and start buying um, some decorations for for Christmas, um, and I think I'll do that. And I might do like a shop with me video for that as well. And then I'll do a decorate with me uh, for Christmas here. So that's what you can expect from me. And I'm almost at work. I probably got like 15 minutes uh, before I get there. So, we'll see. All right. So yeah, so that's, that's what my plans are. very strict about you know using like your cell phones or using equipment uh, while you're driving so I mean I do have my I do have this on my phone set up right now and I do apologize for the stands here it's it's one of those phone stands that clips onto the dash and I keep saying we have to upgrade it to something better, but I, I don't have time for anything lately. Um, we might go out later tonight um, and go shopping for the kids, so I might take you guys along for that as well. Um, what else can I say? There's like a cop right next to me. And I'm pretty sure he sees that I'm like recording, so he's like staying and like trying to say a little bit behind me and stuff like that. I'm not gonna touch the phone, so if he thinks that I'm touching the phone, he's, he's out of his mind. Um, but yeah, like I said, they are very strict here about you know using your cell phones and stuff. I don't, I don't text and drive. I don't do that. The only reason why I'm talking to guys right now is because I do have you on my dash so that's the only reason why I am recording um, this video but other than that I wouldn't be touching it at all and I do have Bluetooth in case I do get phone calls and so I have Bluetooth through the car and or whatever so there's no need for me to you know jump on my phone here so it is what it is you guys but other than that I think that I'm going to let you guys go. And again, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, again, if you are not part of my little YouTube family, please join. I would love to have you here. Um, if you like this video, even though I did a, a lot of ranting, um, please like it. If you didn't, then I'm sorry better videos are to come um so give it a thumbs up don't forget to share you guys i need help here i'm like drowning at this this is tough trying to get people to subscribe to your channel is it's a tough thing so i give it to you guys that have been doing this for a while and have like a gazillion subscribers to your account like this is hard work and it it's like another full-time job to try and keep up with this so um, i'll see you on the next video okay bye